It's time now for the Peter Chell 11 o'clock news for this. Wednesday, April 22nd, 2015. Good morning, I'm Peter Wiggins and are your 11 o'clock news at 9. There. And our top story at 11 o'clock here is. In Boston, when Bow Boom Dancer Adrian Hazlitt Davis heard a blast as she stood at the finish line. After the Boston Marathon two years ago, she knew there was no accident in the specific and then her explosion would follow. As one of the testimonies was said today, Senator Rand Paul, Republican Kentucky and Tuesday, ratcheted up the war of words between himself and the leading foreign policy hawks in the set party column. Senators Graham and McCain were Obama's left dogs in foreign policy. And Senator Rand Paul also on Wednesday, skipped out in the Senate Foreign Relations Committee hearing and said it appeared on a radio program blasting Hillary Clinton's Helen of the Benghazi terror attacks. The arrest of a London trader who allegedly helped cause a 2010 flash crash isn't boosting investors' covenants, it's spooking them. Atlanta, with 10.9 seconds remaining in the game, Deron Williams had a clear look at the basket of the result of devastating ball faking a quick dribble out of the corner, but it didn't go in as Atlanta. Hawks defeated the Brooklyn Nets 96-91. In Sydney, Asian shares were wearing a soft reading on Chinese manufacturing on Thursday as it only weathered expectations for more policy stimulus there while shock rise in British and German bond yields rippled throughout global debt markets. An Islamic extremist with an arsenal heavy weapons planned an imminent attack on one or more. French churches, French's top security officials said announcing an arrest of a man who was also accused in the death of a young woman. Brussels warm. European Union leaders who have decided last year to halt the rescue of migrants stranded across the Mediterranean will reverse their decision on Thursday at a summit in Aisley, convening after nearly 2,000 people died at sea. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, a video released by investigators that shows an undercover sheriff's deputy allegedly buying drugs from a man later killed by a volunteer officer at Mount Character Assassination of Civil Rights Advocate said Wednesday. In Phoenix, the normally divided sheriff from Metro Phoenix responded meekly and shifted blame Wednesday as he was questioned in court about why he violated the judge's order to stop current out of the signature immigration patrols. In the West Baltimore neighborhood where police chased down an African-American man who later died. Black residents on Wednesday aimed at the department of their outrage as the six officers involved in an incident. The U.S. Federal Communication Commission efforts recommended that the DHC designate Comcast Corporation's proposed $45 billion acquisition in Time Warner Cable Incorporated. It. McDonald's Corporation's new chief executive officer, who is charged with reinvigorating the world's biggest restaurant chain on Wednesday, said he would deliver his turnaround plan next month. Tesla Motors is signing up big customers like Walmart and Cargill, of course, certain efforts may come. A leader in energy storage, a new market that is poised to boost sales and profit at the electric vehicle pioneer. AT&T Incorporated on Wednesday reported better than expected earnings and said fewer. Wireless customers switched our network to the rate not seen in the first quarter. Okay, let's take a look at stock market report here on this late Wednesday night here. The Dow closed 18,003.27, up 8.68. SP Farmer. Close 21.07, up 10.67. And Nasdaq, close 5,055.17, up 21.07. In New York, People Magazine has named Sandra Bullock as the world's most beautiful woman for 2015. The 50-year-old actress who forces a supervillain in the Upcoming movie, Million Stops the Magazine List, and that's Wednesday. In Washington, a common type of pesticide is dramatically hurt on wild bees, according to a new in the field study. That outside experts say may help shift away the They look at New England and Florida here at 11.05. In Newton, Massachusetts, motorbike accident on Route 120 stop at exit 21. Car over the embankment with an entrapment extrication in progress. Okay, Peter Chell News, I'm Lone Five. Take a look at the sports news. The Boston Red Sox fall to the Tampa Bay Rays down in St. Pete, 7-1.
seven and five. Other scores run in Major League Baseball on this Wednesday night. Top of the second, no score between the San Francisco Giants and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Here, bottom of the third, Seattle Mariners lead the Houston Astros two to nothing in the bottom of the third. Bottom of the third, Los Angeles Angels and the Oakland Athletics one one the score in the bottom of the third. Bottom of the fourth, Arizona Diamondbacks lead the Texas Rangers three to one in the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the eighth, Colorado Rockies center the Padres four four the score. Bottom of the ninth, Minnesota Twins lead the Kansas Royals three to nothing here. Chicago White Sox flank the Cleveland Indians 6 0 in here. Pittsburgh Pirates edge out the Chicago Cubs 4 3. St. Louis Cardinals over the Washington Nationals 7 5. Miami Mons over the Philadelphia Phillies 6 1. Toronto Blue Jays over the Baltimore Orioles 4 2. New York Yankees pound the Detroit Tigers 13 4. New York Mets edge out Atlanta Braves 3 2. And Cincinnati Reds over the Milwaukee Brewers 2 1. NHL playoff scoreboard here. Winnipeg Jets and the M. Ducks 1 1 the score of 12 05 left in the second period here. The St. Louis Blues lead the Minnesota Wild 4 1 with 10 30 11 in the second period here. The Ottawa Senators avoid a sweep by the Montreal Canadiens as the Senators beat the Canadiens 1 0 here. And the New York, Islander, New York Rangers take a three games one lead in this best of seven series with a 2 1 victory over the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Atlanta Hawks take a two games the Nen leading this best of seven series in the Eastern Conference first round with a 96 91 win over the Brooklyn Nets. Memphis Grizzlies taking two games and then leading this best of seven series with a 97 82 win. And Santos Spurs lead the Los Angeles Clippers 14 13 with 5 14 11 in the first quarter here. Take a look at some spots news here. When news of the Oklahoma City Thunder firing coach Scott Brooks spoke on Wednesday, it was only natural to immediately think ahead of a 2016 when Kevin Durant is to become an unrestricted free agent. Rajan Rondo is out of doubt, says Rick Carlisle made it clear when he asked he fought the free agent to be wear, wear a Marvick uniform again. Greg Hardy, the prize office season recruit for Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, is fortunate that Roger Goodell suspended him for only the first 10 games of the 2015 season and afforded his didn't already throw him in jail. Peter Chell News Times, now 11 7, down after a travel report. Smooth, Sam and I was by the way, doing it here, and we're seeing some few slow spots here. 290 in on the eastbound side, a little slow around Route 146 in Worcester here. Mess back into the westbound side. It is backed up from the Southeast Expressway to Anthony Allison Brighton Tolls here. And Route 190 on the northbound side, slow from 93 in Boston all the way out to Logan Airport here. And Ted and Wilmson on the westbound side, a little slow around for the Mess Pack here. 495 in the northbound side, a little slow around the Milford stretch around Route 16 here. But otherwise, smoke sound great and uh, Mass Pack and 495 intersection in Westburg, little Westburg, Westburg, a little slow. And up in New Hampshire, here, the Everett Turnpike, a uh, little slow around the connector with the Manchester Boston Regional Airport connector here. And a look at the MBTA service alerts here on the red line, Ashmont Branch experience and severe delays for a service to Ashmont. Take any train to JFK and board it in an Ashmont bound train here. And on the commuter rail. Some prominent trains may continue to experience delays of 10 to 20 minutes for Edelberg due to damage Amtrak signals. And the ferries are smooth sailing here. Peter Channel News Time is now 1109 here, and it is time now for a weather report here on this. Late Wednesday night here. And it shows day one, day, and day two for seven, Thursday for Tuesday to be a low probability that the frost freeze. Headlines may be needed Thursday night into Friday morning for areas that have started their growing season here. Alright, let's take a look at our 7 day forecast that goes like this here. While you're sleeping in overnight hours at the night, we're, we're going to see some scattered showers may for 2 a.m. Most of the clouds got low about 40 degrees. That was when about 8 miles by chance of precipitation 30%. New person by miles less than 7 inches possible. First day, slight chance of showers between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Parts of the sun skies about 52 degrees. Westwood about 79 miles because of the highest. 23 miles by chance of a press. 20 percent. 
Thursday night, most of the sky were lower at 32 degrees, west was about 7 miles per hour. Friday, put sun skies with 154 degrees, west was about 7 to 10 miles per hour. Again, most of the sky were about 34 degrees, northwest was about 6 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, most of the sky was about 37 to about 37 degrees. Sunday, most of the sky was about 38 to about 40 degrees. Monday, Chetta Charles put sun in most of the sky about 36 to about 40 degrees. Chetta, precipitation is 30 percent. Tuesday, Chetta Charles with some parts of sun in most of the sky about 55 to about 40 degrees. Chetta, precipitation is 30 percent. And for Wednesday, part of the sky is about 55 degrees. Not temperature at 1110, standing at 31 degrees with overcast skies. That is going to be it for the Peter Channel. 11 o'clock news on this April 22nd, 2015. On a Wednesday, people say have a good night. See you tomorrow.